said, my daughter, my little daughter is at the point of death. Notice Jairus does not mention his daughter's name. He's coming to Jesus because every problem has a different name. Every problem is unique. And he said, uh, the problem at my house deals with what God has blessed me with. My 12-year-old daughter has fallen ill and she's at the point of death. The doctor said there's nothing else that they can do. We prayed and we thought we was believing, but you know, this is my last hope. Jesus, I want to know, will you come and lay your hands on her that she may be healed and that she shall live? This man, this father, pleading for his daughter, pleading for her and, and, and going to Jesus on her behalf, but knowing that his presence was going to make a difference. And the Bible said Jesus went with him. Notice Jesus did not inquire further. Well, what is the sickness? How long did she have it? What is her fever? What's her blood pressure? When people are crying out to God, I don't know if you've ever cried out to him or not, but I cried out and I couldn't put words to my problem. I, I, all I had could, could say was, could you help me? Have you ever been in the place where you said, Jesus, help me? I couldn't put words to the problem because I couldn't quite articulate it. I knew I had pain. I knew I was hurting. I didn't have a solution, but I knew if I just cried out. I knew if I just said, oh, God, oh, God, please help me. I wish somebody here knew what I was talking about. You know, you can be ashamed all day long, but you know what? I dare you to get in a tight spot where you don't know what to do. You don't care what people say. You don't care how people look. This was a crowd of people around Jairus, and Jairus fell on his face fell at the feet of Jesus and said, help me. Help me, my daughter is dying. Help me. Help me, Jesus. Help me. Help me, Jesus. Jesus went with him. Jesus didn't say, how far away do you live? Jesus didn't say, how long is it going to take to get there? Jesus didn't ask a lot of questions that we would ask. Jesus wouldn't say, let me look at my day planner. Uh, let me see what my schedule looks like. How many of you know he'll break his schedule for you? How many of you know he'll stop doing what he's doing just for you. When you call on him, he will answer. When you call on him, I've never called and got a busy signal. I've never called and hold, have, a, have myself put on hold. I've never called him and said, is, is this in English? Is this, is this, is this in Spanish? I never, I never called on him and got that kind of response. Sometime I called on him and another language came up out of me. I didn't know quite what I was saying. But out of my belly, I started calling on him. I didn't hear him say, I, I don't understand what you're saying. Look like the more I talked to him, the more I cried out to him, the more I didn't understand. If I just believed by faith, he understood what I was saying. The Bible said we don't know how to pray as we ought, but the Spirit make it innocent. You ever got out and start calling on him? All of a sudden, hot talk. He don't know that you were You start talking like that. You start saying, wait a minute. I, 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 I meant to be nice about this, but, but the problem is so nasty, it's so painful, it's so hurtful. I don't know what else to say or to do, but I'm going to call on you, and I'm going to expect you to answer. Jesus answered. His response was he went with him. How many of you know when you go to the word and you express what's wrong, the word will work with you. <laughs> the, 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 the word will walk with you through your problem. Somebody needs to hear what I'm saying. You're not by yourself. He said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. There are certain times that the presence of God, you feel it more than you do other times. Have you ever been in a place where you just say, Lord, just let me know you're with me. Just let me know that you're here. Hallelujah. I remember one time a baby was dying and they called me to the hospital. And I went up to the hospital and had to put on a gown and put on a mask and put on a whole bunch of stuff. Went into this little room and this baby was in an incubator. I said, God, I can't, I can't lay my hands on the baby. He said, I said, Lord, just let me know that you're here. I said, I don't know what to do. But I told these people I was going to pray. And I was in the room and the nurse was looking through the glass. God said, stretch your hand out on the incubator. When I stretched my hands out on the incubator and just leaned on the incubator, I said, Lord, move by your power. Move by your presence. The baby started going like this. 
the nurse came in and said, wait a minute. She said, something's going on in here. I said, yes, it is. I said, I knew that God was going to meet us in this room. That sometimes he'll manifest his presence. When you're standing on the word, he'll let you know he's right there with you. The manifestation of his presence brought a peace to Jairus. The fact that Jesus is going to walk back home with him, hallelujah, to help him with his problem. Aren't you glad that when you call on him, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. 